It's been less than a week since the e-scooter program launched here in Chicago, and unfortunately, doctors say it's been good for business. Mary Fraction rented e-scooters with her family yesterday in the West Loop. She hit a crack in the pavement and went flying off, landing her at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush today. Woke up, swollen hand, um, fingers looked like a pumpkin, so then I knew immediately that I had to come to the doctor. Now Mary was not following the safety instructions before she broke her wrist. Dr. John Fernandez has seen many scooter-related injuries before the pilot program launched over the weekend, treating out-of-state patients. Ironically, as I was leaving the operating room on Monday, fixing a fracture that had occurred from a scooter, all of a sudden I'm driving through the city and I'm seeing these scooters on every, on every street corner and I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, it's going to be a busy summer. He says the scooters aren't the problem, it's the public's lack of experience with them. And the potholes and flaws in the city's streets are not made for scooters. Since Saturday alone, he's treated four fractures. One of the ones that we had was also a little bit related to a margarita. So that, that could be an, is, an issue as well, is judgment, right? So you have these and you have bars and pubs and restaurants around and sometimes people can drink a little bit too much and they'll get on the scooter. The scooters are limited to 15 miles per hour and can only be found in a specific zone in the city. They're operative from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now remember, part of practicing scooter safety is to keep them off the sidewalk. You must ride in the bike lanes on the streets. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.